G'day, I'm Mullet Mick. And I'm Adele. And it's a beautiful day today, perfect weather for feeding some lizards. And today we're going to feed them some crickets. So, have a look in here. Let's go see if we can find our little bearded dragon, Dingo. Let's do it. Welcome here into our lizard enclosure. First things first, we've got to find our little mate, Dingo. Can you help us find our little mate, Dingo? I'm going to look under the log. Let's go. Let's look under this log. Oh, that's not Dingo. This is Wilma, and she's our shingleback lizard. Some people call them two-headed lizards because their tail looks exactly like their head. Hey, Del, he's not under here. Do you want to look up the tree? Yep, I'll have a look up this tree. <gasps> what have we got here? This is a frilled neck lizard, often mistaken as a bearded dragon, so not what we're looking for. Should we look under a rock next time? This right here is the last place we have to look for Dingo in this enclosure. If he's not under here, we're in a lot of strife. Let's see. Oh, oh, we have a lizard. But it's not our bearded dragon. It's our little blue tongue, Charlie. Do you know why blue tongue lizards have a blue tongue? I know, it's because they eat too many blueberries. It's not because they eat too many blueberries. They actually use their tongue to scare off predators. How cool is that? You're joking. I think we're in a bit of trouble here. We haven't found Dingo yet. We're gonna have to widen our search to see if we can find him. Let's go. It'll be easier if we split up, I reckon. Good idea, let's go. Still no luck finding Dingo. Yeah, I don't know where else we could look. We've looked everywhere. He's right there. Where? Dingo's on your head. A dingo on my head? No, not a dingo, Dingo. Oh, Dingo, the bearded dragon we're looking for. Why didn't you say so? This here is Dingo. We found him. He is an Eastern bearded dragon and they're a master of camouflage. Let's go give him some food. <laughs> 